some red eyeball icon, right? Right. Hello? Oh, it's me! I'm an imbecile, sorry. We ended up at that weird place where we used this nav app, right? I found it on my phone too. I don't even remember it's right. Seems like it. Oh, that scared me. Sorry, neighbor's making noise. Basically, it's going to depend on how we use it. But first, we're going to find evidence for the beatings. I'm continuing on. I oh, sorry, I'm blind. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. We won't. Um, have I been to bed now? No, Tuesday evening. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. Why is it called the metaverse? Yeah, go to sleep. Oh, we're going to go and visit Caroline and Igor, Igor, and whatever the fucking name is. What's Caroline's twin called? Has he got long hair? Oh no, it's a shadow. Morning. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What's, what's the Velvet Room? I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Thanks, Bay. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. I don't know what you mean, babe, but okay. Hi, Bree. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Yes! Ryuji! Hello, stranger. Apologies for the long absence. Life has been really hectic as of late, but I have been watching these on catch up. Oh, you're so sweet. That's okay, Daphne. You do you, queen. I'm so sorry, though. I hope life has been okay and, like, not hurting you in any way. Uh, sorry, hang on. Today you enter. You mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. Thanks, Bay. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. Listen, babes, Ryuji's like the real deal. We love him. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. <gasps> Is this, like, gonna be how we start forming bonds with people? Because I've been waiting for this. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Fuck yeah. Personas are the strength of heart. Justine, that's it. She's the less harsh one, isn't she? The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. Bay. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. All right, Caroline, grow up. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Life's been good. I've been t in New York for a few... That's incredible. Oh, God. Confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust and proving your value. Yes! I've been waiting for this! Me and Ryuji are going to be bum chums for life. Once you've formed a bond, you can open the menu with triangle and select confidant to check the strength of- I've never been so excited in my life. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. They will. <laughs> <laughs> we have a deal then. Are we bonding with him too? Feels like Igor- is it Igor or Igor? Um, has high expectations of me. Yes, he does, but it's all right. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. What is all this about? With the birth of the full persona, 
I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Thanks, babe. Daphne, what brought you to New York? I want to hear all the tea. Who? Lemmert? 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 <laughs> Prison master, confidant. Rank full. Oh, no, wait. Or can a full rank? Wild talk. Allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a hold up. Hold up. Okay, that's a really cool ability. Uh, Arcana Burst. Earn bonus um, experience when fusing personas based on their Arcana's confidant rank. Oh god, this is so confusing. All right. What's a full confidant? What does that mean? What 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 do they mean that there's different types of confidant? Oh, it hurts me. You've learned the ability to wild talk from Igor. You've learned the Arcana Burst from Igor. Okay. Uh, confidant abilities. People you have formed a bond with have special confidant abilities. Okay. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. This is exciting. Okay. So, like, the more me and, like, Ryuji, for example, become besties, the better, hit the stronger we'll both get, right? Press triangle to open the menu, then select confidant. From there, you can check each other's confidant arcana, rank, and abilities. I don't even know what the arcana thing means, but... Oh, I'm just going to quickly read this. Um, Daphne says, I went for a long overdue holiday visiting friends, sightseeing, and Pokemon hunting on the phone game. And then Laura said, the confidants are based on the tarot card arcanas. Okay. Um, well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Daphne, that sounds like so much fun. Um, how long did you go for? Did you take photos? Send me some photos on WhatsApp. And Laura, thank you for explaining that. Um, it'll probably make sense as I go. I think e even Igor knows that I'm a bit confused. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Do you know what? I'm going to purposely make a bad relationship with you because you're a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, that was really petty. <laughs> How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. Probably literally. We get to see his technique live and in person though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? The ends. <sighs> okay, quiet down. She really irritates me. I know she's a love interest, but she's annoying. Uh, sorry, okay, listen up everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Oh, I'll just quickly read what Laura just said. Each persona has an arcana type uh, two, and if the persona type and confidant type matches, it helps you build a relationship with them faster. Okay, that's very cool. Uh, sorry, yeah. Volleyball rally, yeah. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed. Got it? Alright, bitch. I'm gonna try and be nice to everyone, because that's the kind of bitch I am. Even Caroline. Where's Sexy Interrogator and why can't I put her up my bomb instead? She's probably a bit old for us, innit? <laughs> oh god. Ouch. That. 
you. Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that song. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That poor girl being nonced by him. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. We'll get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Sorry, FaceTime. my auntie's facetiming me. I'll call her later. Um, get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. I know it was his fault. <laughs> Same. Well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's okay. look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Where are you searching? I don't remember their faces, but I'm not gonna say that because I don't want to upset him. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. Okay. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? Okay, quick travel. Oh! Uh, you can use quick travel by bringing up uh, the map with R1 and selecting the... Oh my god, yes. Oh, I've been waiting for this day. Right then. But we need to go to classroom D. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's just chat to people in it. In it, bro. What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Let's not be so direct. It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. You do, babe. I'm not calling him a coward. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know, you have proof. We're getting there. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Bless him. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap, if we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Should I say leave it to me? Yeah. Well, that's nice of you, but I'm down for just splitting up, though. Oh. I'll take the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. All right, babe. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C. Thank you. He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Bye, babes. Oh, he's so sweet. I must sound like I'm in love with him. I'm not. I'm still a queer, but, like, he's just so sweet, you know? I just want to be his best friend IRL. Like, I want to adopt it. Hang on. Did he not say? Hold on. Is there anyone I can... <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, let's get changed and head to uh, karaoke. Should we invite that other guy? I think I saw him somewhere over there. He can't. He said he had to go to practice. Seriously, the volleyball team was something else. Oh, that's not helpful. 
I thought, I swear he said to come here, to come this way. Oh, three? Can I go in this? Oh, 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 I saw an examine. I did. <gasps> ah, quickly. Oh. Okay, sorry. I obviously did not pay attention. I thought he, oh, did he say three C? Maybe I'll just start from the top. I'm so happy I can quit travel. Like, best thing ever. Ooh, lots of people to listen to. Yeah? Everyone's saying a lot of bad stuff about that transfer student in your class, Anne. Uh... I know. I hate rumours already, but they're only getting more and more complex as time goes on. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's alright. I hope he's not letting it get to him too much. That's just like you, Shiho. Always worrying about yourself before... I mean, <laughs> always worrying about other people before yourself. Yeah. Kind of like when you were there for me. Oh. We don't have club today, do we? Oh, I forgot to tell the first years. Come on, man. You better get up to the third floor quick. Oh, that's where we need to go, the third floor. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? But mm -hmm. I just want to, like, do everything that you can do first, you know? Like, I feel like this game is not to be rushed. Unless we are in a rush. Mm -hmm. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is going to be such a goddamn pain. Eh? What do you want? Oh! You got something to say? You on the volleyball team? So what if I am? Um... Hey, I know who this guy is. He's a transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practice is going to be tough. Mr. Kamashid is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. Mm, I just don't... I, I don't want to be too direct about the abuse because I feel like the minute you throw that word around, we're in trouble. I feel like saying that's corporal punishment, but I don't want to... Oh, I don't like either of them. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I'm gonna ask. I'm just gonna say, look, you sure it's not abuse? Uh huh, sure. Uh, as if. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? Oh shit, have I run out of time? How's it going? Should I just be honest? Yeah, he refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashida. But I still got a lead, a first year, new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashida's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first year, see if you can find him. You can view the messages you've received by pressing square. An icon will appear on any unread messages. Only the 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically deleted, so don't forget to read them. Don't scare me. I'm just going to check everything now. Okay, we're fine. Have I spoken to everyone I need to talk to on this level? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I'm not on the volleyball team. Doesn't it seem like the first years always have to run? And they have to run all the way down from the third floor too. They certainly tough it out well, but I don't feel sorry for them. Oh, that's not very nice. Have I not listened to these guys? Are these not the same people I listened to before? Yeah. Okay, I'm on the- I think I'm on the wrong floor anyway, so... Let's just... Right, I've done that one. Have I done that one? I've done that one. I've done that one. I haven't done the courtyard. Have I done 2F? Let's just try 2F really quick. Have I done 2F? Oh, ho, ho, there's a thingy! Oh, it's him! Ah, uh, the transfer student. What is it? I'll tell on you if you try and do something to me. I love this guy. I feel really bad for him. You on the volleyball team? Huh? I'm not. Why are you snooping around like this? Oh, sorry about that. Please don't stab me, <laughs> babe. Can I not talk to him again? So what is it? I'll tell the teacher if you try and do something to me. Oh, I need to say something different. Like what? So sorry, please don't put me in the hospital. Oh, fuck. 
I'm d saying the wrong thing. No, please, just go away. Okay, I think I've said all I can say. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, but I'll just... Oh, no, I didn't mean to! When I was on the first floor just now, I saw someone who was all bandaged up. <gasps> oh, I bet it was someone from the volleyball team. Even the third years get worked hard. We are getting there. <gasps> oh, oh, look, look. Newspaper comment. Do you need something? I really wish you wouldn't talk to me in such a public place. They're so nasty at this school. Um, tell me about volleyball. Why don't you ask Mishima-kun about that? He's in class D with you, isn't he? Is that who we're meant to be talking to? To be honest, I've heard some rumours about him and Mr. Kamoshida. What do you mean? Don't ask me anymore, though. I don't want the teachers to see me associating with you. Well, talk to me in private then, slag. Take my number and text me. Is there not a way I can do that? No. People don't make it easy, do they? Do you think... Uh, Sue's real fans been acting strange lately. She's been sighing a lot. She used to be a lot happier when we were first years. Plus those bruises. I think she's in trouble. Oh, God. She's trying to become a volleyball starter, isn't she? I heard she takes uh -oh, private lessons with Mr. Kamoshida every day. Apparently she's been a really good player ever since she was in middle school. Anyway, acting sad like that while keeping Mr. Kamoshida to herself is kind of arrogant, don't you think? Deary fuck. Okay, um, I'm just going to quickly do the courtyard bit and then I'll... Because I think they said... Okay. Out the way! Hang on. Oh, I can't. There's still uh, time until the next match. This is such a drag. The people who don't have any matches left are allowed to go home. Maybe I'll just skip out. You're up against Mr. Kamashida's team next, right? I think everyone would notice if you weren't there. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. I don't want to attract that kind of attention to myself either. But even if I do play, I know Mr. Kamashida will send some serious spikes my way. That teacher's spike was incredible. What are they talking about? Hey, is he always like that? Isn't that kind of scary? What's a spike? Y yeah, it is until you get used to it. People on the volleyball team get those kinds of injuries. Man, you guys have got it tough. Mm. I will uncover... Oh, oh, oh. I couldn't find these students with any noticeable injuries in the gym. Well, where am I meant to go then? Mm. You said class D, but where is class D? Right, hang on. First floor, isn't it? Or was it third floor? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's got the labels, hasn't it? Of what classroom? Oh, look, 3B. Was it 3D or 3... I thought it was 3C. I'm so convinced. 3A. Let me go to try 3C, because I'm sure that's where we're supposed to be. Oh, maybe not. I'm just going to try every fucking door. Well, you have to... Okay. I've forgotten everything. I've forgotten all my conversation. Hold on. I know what I can do. Let me reread the text. First year member. Go around with the... Go ask around the first years. Well, how do I know what the first years are? Fucking hell. How the fuck am I supposed to know? to go to the loo. Would that help? All right. Can I go in the go? <laughs> okay. I was just trying it. Don't be rude. Don't ever call me a... Oh, out the way. Oh, first year's a top floor. This is no type for... Yeah, but I can talk to... All right. I thought he said something about three, like, third floor. Oh! Practice has just been so hard, I haven't been getting any. Huh? What do you want? I'll ask that first. Ha uh ha. Huh? No, I'm not. I don't want to say ha Why? What's going on? Gasp. <gasps> hey, isn't he, you know, the scary guy? What? Why didn't you say so? I can't believe I talked to him. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm in a hurry, so I've got to go. Oh, fuck. I've blown out. I could have asked where the first year students are. Oh. 
Huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? I feel like maybe I... Should I be a bit more direct? What are these injuries? Oh, these? It, uh, it happened during the practice. I mean, everyone on the team's got injuries like this. Mishima Senpai has it especially bad, though. He gets to deal with Mr. Kamoshida's special coaching. Oh, uh, never mind, forget I said something. Special coaching. Can't do it. Please, just stop talking to me. Ask anyone else. Uh, oh no, ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Attention, attention! All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. I feel like I've got no information. I did my best, but... Damn it, we're out of time. How did it go? No good. So, you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard. I'm trying. Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, okay. Girls! Oh! <laughs> uh, what is it? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? <laughs> I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. No, I think she's pretty much a rape victim, but okay then. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Bye. <laughs> Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? You know her? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Oh uh, yeah, Mish. Oh. Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Oh, okay, right to the point. Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. What does that mean? Like, strike? As in, like, hit? That was just... Because I'm not good at the sport. Oh. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen what Laura said. Ryuji likes the tact gene. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's. What's going on here? Oh, go away! Disgusting! Mishima, isn't it time for practice? No! I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. What a cunt. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Careful, Ryuji. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Oh, he makes me blood boil, he does. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? Oh, oh, oh! I could be sassy! 
Or do I want to keep on his good side? Oh. Look, IRL, I would be like, I was just leaving, but like. I'm so tempted just to like drop him in it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do it just for the drama, just for the tea. Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a douche. Hang on, my cat's knocking on the door. Hold on. Oh, don't. Come on, Nanny. Good cat. Right, I think all the cats who knock are now in the house. Sorry, Sabrina. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. Okay, listen, Ryuji, you need to calm down, babe. There's no point. No. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all know. They all keep quiet about it. I bet shit like that does happen, you know. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> oh. Damn it. Poor Mishima. I'm not going to ask him that. What now? Let's say what now. Try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Oh, I feel really deflated for him. Poor baby. That day was quick. I can definitely do a second day. I'm all worn out from the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Yeah, I'll definitely do a second day. Usually I do like um, one day and then call it quits because they're long. But this was a very short day, so... Or I'm just getting better. Oh, hey. This don't make any goddamn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Because volleyball? They're afraid of Kamoshida? They don't care it's ha Probably they're afraid of Kamoshida. Oh, uh, yeah. That can't be the only thing keeping both the principal and the parents quiet, though. It's basically because Kamoshida made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Oh shit, I went for the wrong answer. Uh, even so, that that don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up, and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Who is he talking about? He's talking about Anne. What follower? Anne uh, Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Oops. Ugh, oh, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamoshida during break tomorrow. Just watch, I ain't giving up. Oh, bless him. Okay, let me quickly save. I should write something. Yeah, I should. <laughs> okay. Poor little Mike. I'm beat from running around all day. Nighty night. We're not going to see Igor and Caroline and... Oh, okay. Did you see Mr. Kamoshida play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. Ew! I don't know if that's such a good idea. I hear that you shouldn't go near the P faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming even though no one's there. <gasps> what? That's probably just a rumour spread by fans to scare the competition. That sounds terrifying.
before I carry on, is this like, am I getting this wrong? Is he a bit sexual abusey or is he just like disgustingly physically abusive and manipulative and evil? Because I just, I don't know, I just get pervert vibes from him. It all feels very perverty. Um, anyway. Uh, so, about the wi about witnesses. I was a combination. I thought so. I was wondering if we could get something out of Tama uh, Takamaki. Such as with Kamashida. Yeah. No, that ain't why. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Um, Takamaki's BFFs with a starter, a girl named Sue. I don't know how you would say her name, Susan. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Uh, then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. No, we can like try though. I think it'll be alright. Is that the other girl? Um, what's her name? Um, Thingy Ho. Should yeah. She heading to volleyball? Yeah, she her. Uh huh. Oh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice too? Y yeah. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm. I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Disgusting! Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. Wow. Just wow. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Yeah, high school boys indeed. Could you be that transfer student from class D? I don't want her to freak out, but yeah. Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Oh, she's lovely. I really like this girl. Why do you say that? Hmm. Well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. <gasps> and I was one of them. <laughs> Cause Laura, do you remember I made that snap judgment about her based on her looks? Whoops. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Unless we're not talking about her. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Whoops. I bet you were like, lol. Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? Oh god, I shouldn't have said it. All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. No, we can't. We should have started with that. I think there's no point. I don't know. I don't want to like sound like I'm giving up, but like, I just don't think we should talk to Kemashida if I'm honest. Like, I think it's gonna make things worse. There's no point. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? There must be. No way I'm gonna give in like this. 
Can you think of anything? I really can't. We should call the cop. Sneak attack. Yeah! Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Sneak attack! The cops are useless, so. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Whoops. You got any other ideas? All right. So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? Ah, oh, here we are. <gasps> yeah, can we kill? If we kill the king, will that sort out Kamashida? That's my question. Because, like, what would happen if we killed him in his heart, you know, in his kind of world? Like, I mean, you probably can't answer that question, but I'm just, like, vocalizing this. Like, I wonder what... Because, like, would that kill his spirit IRL? Because it's like, you know, he wouldn't die IRL, but it would probably, like, damage his psyche, right? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? Yeah, let's go find Morgana and, like, beat him up. I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! Morgana?! <gasps> Hello! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. Morgana! Oh, oh my god, right now, we need to just pause and just talk about this for a minute because I'm obsessed. Please, I'm so happy. Let's take this cat home and pet him forever and love up on him. That voice. Is that you, Morgana? Oh my god, he's a little tuxedo cat. How dare you up and leaving me the other day? I'm obsessed. The cat's talking? Yeah, the cat's talking. I am not a cat. This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? Exactly, Daphne. <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! Uh-oh, he'll get angry. How should I know? You hearing this, too? Yeah. Then it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm? I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. Please do. You were pretty close just a moment ago. Oh, what? Killing the king? Whee! God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. <laughs> you were still doubting me? Come here, Nana. You look a little bit like Morgana. Mm, Nana. God! Quiet down! <laughs> Hi, baby. Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? Well, I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. We've got to stuff him in our bag. It's the only way. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? <laughs> Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? He should probably stop meowing, though. You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. <laughs> hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... An animal. Don't be so rough with me. Oh. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? What I want to know is why he's wearing a collar like he's owned by someone. It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. Okay. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. 
So, if that castle were no more... His desire would go to, he'd become an honest man. Uh, hang on, a palace is a manifest... I just want to, like, say the right thing. Because I feel like they both make sense, but a palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if the castle were no more, his desires would go to... Oh, you sure pick up things fast. Thank God. For real? He he's gonna turn good? Oh, Nana, did you hit that? But is that really getting back at him? Yes. Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. Oh my God, I love this. What a fucking cool concept. I love this game. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes. And he'll confess them himself. <laughs> you for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Oh, amazing. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. Hold on. What will happen to Morgana if his palace is gone? Will he not exist anymore? Because he's not real, right? That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Which is? Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Morgana was an intruder like you guys. He's not from that, uh, that palette. Yeah, but why is it that like... Okay, so if he was an intruder like us, when he's in the real world, why is he turned into a cat if he's not actually a cat? Or is he lying and he is a cat? Because he's like, oh, I want to return to my true form as a human, blah, blah, blah. But is he, like... I don't know, That I'm very confused about his story, I'm not going to lie. Oh, luck's running dry, looking for witness, can we have no choice? Yeah. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. Oh. Oh, no, that's a good thing. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. So he could die? The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. Or do we mean he'll just get very depressed? What are you getting at? Yeah, what are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. I mean, I'm not exactly sad about that. He deserves it a bit, lol. They may even die if they're not given proper care. Look how happy Morgana is to say that. So... They might die! <laughs> Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Sorry. Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? I mean, I don't want to kill him, but like, at the same time, I think we'll have to risk it, really. For real? Oh, I don't want it. Does Ryuji now hate me? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. I think we've got to do it. Like, what other... There's literally not another choice unless we just want those students to, like, be abused till they die, so... Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. No. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Baby, there is no other way. Come on. Let's get out of here. It's so funny because I'm being such a dick because like if this was real life I'd be like no I'm not doing it like I'm not killing somebody 
but like in this situation where it's I'm not you know I'm playing somebody else blah 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 like I'm like yeah well what else can we do and I'm not saying I want Kamashida to die because I don't believe in like the death penalty this is very like morally ambiguous but I just feel that the only this is going to be the only way that we can help those students since the parents don't care the head teacher doesn't care blah 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 also I did notice your it's a mystery I think that there's more to Morgana than I know um, does before I carry on, I actually want the spoiler. Does anybody? You don't have to tell me who, but does somebody major or somebody that I love die? I really, I actually need that spoiler for mental health reasons, genuinely. Anyway, yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about that. Su I don't know how you say her name. Su uh, Suzu Suzy girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamashida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about, about that doesn't seem <sighs> right. Do you know something? It's nothing so clear cut, but... Oh, that's a hard question to answer, says Laura. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, um... Let me rephrase it. Does something... Okay, okay, I'm gonna kind of, you don't have to confirm which, but does like one of the characters that I love either disappear, cease to exist, die, uh, get seriously hurt, or have something like where there's going to be a goodbye involved, because those things really get my heart going and I just want to like prepare myself, you know? Anyway, sorry. It's nothing so clear cut, but I've known uh, Takamaki and Susie since middle school. There's just no way Kamashi does their type, you know. It's a hard question to answer. Oh, Laura. So I gotta wonder where those rumors came from. Uh, hang on, are there different endings? I'm sure you said there's anyone. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya. I wonder what the other students are saying. I should listen in as I go home. Oh. Uh, Takamaki always looks kind of unhappy whenever Mr. Kamashida talks to her. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him at school to show off how she got him wrapped around her finger. Oh, gross. There are multiple endings, but only one true ending. Okay. Oh, so that's what's going on. I wonder how far they've gone together. Mm -hmm. Oh, they'd be doing it. We know they'd be doing it. There are big emotional moments. Yeah, I mean, I thought there might be. I'm already attached and it's going to hurt, so. Uh, Sakamoto's been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who does he think he is? The volleyball team's never going to tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamashida. Well, if Kamashida likes them, their future is pretty much set. Of course, they'd back him up. Speaking of which, I hear Kamashida's new favourite girl is someone named... Oh, Suzu... Suzy... Suzu... Oh... The girl who was chosen to be a regular, ah, uh, her face was all swollen and it looked pretty bad. How's your emotional state right now? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, my mum's still dead, so my emotional state's been shit for ever since, really. Like, I'm very fragile. But, 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 it doesn't mean I want to stop playing this game. I just want... Oh, sorry, did I go the wrong way? Don't I have to get the train home, though? Hold on, have I gone the wrong way? Um. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you have to, okay. Uh, yeah, my emotional state's always shit, so I don't think it makes a difference. Man, she even looks hot in a jersey. I wonder if I have a shot with her. You don't, just so you know. You really want Kamashida's leftovers? I like the girl with the ponytail bed. Oh, just leave it out. They're so disgusting. Do you want trigger warnings ahead of time or not so much? Um. <sighs> My triggers, quote unquote, are very specific. Um, so... Um, I'll talk to you about this off, off this. 
Uh, oh, you mean from the volleyball team? I guess I kind of get you. There's also a really cute first year with ponytail though. Why not her? Wait, there was a girl like that? I didn't look mm -hmm. at all. Can I get on the train? Oh, I missed the train. Oh, no, I didn't. I can still get on it even when it's moving. Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. I'll send you a voice clip with, like, with the kinds of things that I'll kind of want to know. And give you a few examples because it's a bit weird and a bit specific but like certain things really like hurt me in a different way it's really strange i can't believe i've got to walk home like i don't know the way hold on i don't like that I can't rotate the camera it's hurting me oh there we go Ooh. How can you think it's all a coincidence if the same thing keeps happening again and again? The train derailing the other day was horrific. If you ask me, it looked like an act of terrorism. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Another country attacking us. You think they're using mind control? If it was mind control, they're messing it up. The, those people end up going brain dead, don't they? Oh, and I'll give you a heads up. That would be amazing. You're running this place like nothing happened. Didn't you find out what caused the accident? The police are investigating the cause right now. We're working hard to ensure your safety. There was a bus accident before just like this. Didn't you figure out how to prevent this already? I'm very sorry, sir. It seems the conductor suddenly <laughs> fell unconscious. Oh, that's awful. And then... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, can I go now? Do I need to go upstairs? Oh, no, I've just come back. Sorry. So miserable. Oh, dear. <gasps> Examine. Hello. There's information about viewing the cherry blossoms, bro bro blossoms, blossoms printed on here. Well, can't I see them? Can I investigate? Oh, but where do we go home then? <gasps> Hold on. Would that help? Hmm. Oh, I'm. That's where I am. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where am I going? I don't know my way. And I don't know how to read these silly maps. Oh, do I go down here? Yes. Will you please give it a rest? Oh. I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Okay. Hang on then. I'll yeah. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? Uh-oh. This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, oh dear. Poor baby. Oh, it's all right. Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? Not on purpose. <laughs> that was exactly what I said. Haven't you heard of privacy? Sorry. Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Mm, you are arguing something about friend. It's nothing at all. Nothing. Oh, bless her. Sorry. I don't want to follow her. Do I have to? I don't know my way. Did she go in here? Oh. Come too far. Oh, it says the thingy there. Hang on. Hold on. Oh. I'm trying to. Oh, I see all her. I saw her running. Oh, 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 get out my way. Oh, I tried to go. Oh, no. I'm doing it again. Get out the way. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, going the wrong way again. How do I keep doing this? There she is. 
Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be helpful. Are you okay? Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? Hang on. Am I gonna gain romance points if I'm like because I care or blah blah blah? Because I don't. I don't know whether I want her yet. I've got to weigh up everyone before I pick up romance thing. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. You don't gain romance points un uh, until you have a social link. Oh, thank God. Okay. Because I just want to, like, make... I want to, you know, got to weigh up my options. Aren't there, like, eight love interests? So I need to, like, you know... It was just an argument. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Let's be blunt. Oops. I shouldn't have been blunt, should I? Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. Is it not? And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Shit. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she was my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? Oh no, don't make me make that decision. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. Oh, poor Bob. What? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. Maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> you might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. She could join our guy. I'm bad to the bone. What are they saying? <laughs> uh, that you assaulted someone. That you almost killed them. Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Oh, he will once we do the plan. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. Uh, hang on, if I say it could happen, does that sound like I'm insulting her? But then if I say that's too convenient, does that sound like I'm being negative and saying like, yeah, no, you're fucked forever? Because I want, wanted to say like it could happen to like brighten her spirits, but then I also don't want her to think like I'm saying, oh, you're forgettable in case I do want to romance her at a later date. Do you know what I mean? Or am I being worried for nothing? Is that my Linda or my Bree? Oh, it's Bree. Hello. Oh. Hmm. I'm really worried about this decision. My gut instinct was to say it could happen, but hey. <laughs> like, to be positive. But is that me saying, like, oh, she's all forgettable? Do you know what I mean? Hi, Bree. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I 
wasn't asking for a serious response. <laughs> Even she didn't think it was that deep. <laughs> but I do feel a bit better now. Yay. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I can't promise that, but okay. I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. You're welcome, babes. Might date you at some point, but we'll see. You should let me know your TWs now. Uh oh, okay. Suzui. Okay, before I carry on. Right. They're really specific and weird, and I'm kind of embarrassed, but like, I'm just gonna have to be upfront. Right. My triggers. Okay. I've actually talked about this a lot in therapy because it comes up a lot in media and it's something that I really struggle with. It's like anything where there's like feelings of like abandonment. So um, somebody moving away forever, um, somebody getting amnesia and forgetting somebody forever, um, <laughs> someone basically people being left people being left behind, someone like quote unquote disappearing, ceasing to exist. I'll never forget when I saw this like Pokemon movie when I was a kid and like it turned out this like Pokemon was like this figment of this kid's imagination and like I had high key trauma from that. Like I literally nearly threw up. Um, it's really weird stuff. Um, like I'm okay with like death and uh, well, <laughs> Like, I'll be really fucking sad if, like, some, one of the characters I love dies, but it's more weird abandonment problems. Um, also, oh my god, another one of my really bad things that I can't cope with are, like, when people just find happiness. Like, just finally everything works out and then it's, like, snatched away, like, really fast. Oh, obviously, like, bury your gaze stuff I hate. Um, that's Killing Eve's fault. So yeah, those are kind of like my weirdo like triggers, if you can call them that. <sighs> like I say triggers, they're not so much triggers as they, well, they do make me spiral a bit. Like, I mean, I'm not going to spoil any of these TV shows, but there have been a lot of TV shows recently that I've literally ended up talking about in therapy because they've made me like sick to my stomach. Oh, and like, oh, and another one that I really find hard to cope with is like, quote unquote, moving on. Like, I know that sounds really weird, but like, again, it's like leaving stuff behind. Like, for me, like, the most upsetting film ever is Toy Story 3 because of that ending, which is so weird, but like, it like hurts me so much. And I know that, like, I don't know, I know how weird this all sounds. I feel like I'm having a therapy session just now, lol. But like, yeah. Those are the things that I like I can't cope with emotionally. I say I can't cope with. I'm probably okay with warning. Like there was a TV show that I watched last year and I had been warned that it was like the ending would probably upset me. Um and it turned out that I spent an entire hour talking about it in therapy because it really upset me. Um and the um yeah it was it was really bad so uh, but i had warning so i knew exactly what was going to happen and it did soften the blow it, like i mean i cried and cried but like i was better um like there was like actually weirdly enough i found the ending of stray quite hard to cope with with b12 dying i know that's so stupid but like that was that that one hurt quite a lot. I struggled with that. Um, like I wanted to cry a lot more than I let on on the stream. <laughs> I went off and cried for ages after that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that gives you any idea. I know it's a bit non-specific. Um, I can give you examples of like films, TV shows, blah blah blah. I'll keep that in mind and warn you before anything related comes up. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I have a feeling that it's not going to be particularly applicable to this game. I have a feeling it's going to be more like abuse, violence, you know. Um, 
I remember you saying something about like, oh, it could be quite relevant at some point. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be a parental death somewhere. You're good for now, lol. I saw a video of some guy that edited Toy Story 3 to roll the credits just as the toys were about to be <laughs> incinerated. He tricked his mum good. Oh my god, that's so mean. The incineration scene doesn't even upset me. I don't know why. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I'm too weird with my what upsets me. And yet the ending with Andy and stuff, like that... I can barely talk about that now. Like, I remember leaving the cinema and I was shaking. I know that is so fucking weird and so, like, dramatic. I, I'm, like, nearly crying talking about it. I remember my mum, like... <laughs> She needed me to cry on command about something and she was like, Mary, Andy just left those toys. They'll never see him again. And I was like, stop. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, so that's that. I, I, I've got tears in my eyes because we've been talking about this stuff. It's so stupid. But yeah, I can cope with weirdly. I think I'm fine with parental death. Um, I'm worse with like actually like a mother and child being separated maybe it's because it's something that i don't know my therapist has a theory that like even though i don't remember being a baby but because mum and i were separated when i was a day old uh for, for the first week of my life because i had to go to hospital she had to recover from her cesarean and stuff like he has this theory that like it's left like residual trauma anyway i'm so sorry this has turned into a whole last therapy session so yeah those are my tricks. I don't, I think I'm fine. Oh, there's some late game stuff that I'll give you a heads up before. You're good for now. I thought I would be. Um, the reason why I was asking you actually about Morgana so much is because, I don't know, I felt like it was alluding to the idea that he may like either cease to exist or disappear or be gone forever or... Okay, an example of something that could really upset me. If at the end he became a cat permanently but we couldn't talk to him anymore oh my god that even talking about that's made me want to cry i'm such a weirdo and like he just sort of is there but he's not we can't get oh god that would hurt me so much anyway right i'm gonna shut up now and carry on um you've got me on a therapy rant now oh my god and i feel so tearful i <laughs> That doesn't happen. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Let's carry on. Okay. Oh, look. The, these two poor babies. Before I start, do you pronounce that Susie or Suzu? Like, I've never seen a UI in Japanese before. I must have. I must have. I'm like going through every Japanese word I know right now. Oh yeah, usually it's ooey, so it'd be like Suzui. Yes! You typed that as I said it. Um, obviously there'll be a delay, but I promise you I said that at the same time as you. Because I just suddenly, I suddenly remembered the word like um, huuri for like old. Like huuri. I can't say it. Huuri. <laughs> yeah, so Suzui. Okay, thank you. Right, Mishima, Suzui. Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. Oh dear. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. Bye, babe. Sorry, I said that was too much glee. Oh, she ho, it's okay. On. Oh, were we about to see, like, them get beaten up or something? Is that why you asked me about triggers? You're late. Where have you been? Hi, Markiplier. Sorry. The trains were delayed. I got lost. Some thug was bothering me. Um, I mean, I did get lost IRL, so... Is that supposed to be an excuse? How directionally challenged can you be? Excuse me, but a hydrocephalic is controlling him. <laughs> By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Not at all. I actually made a friend. Huh. 
Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. <laughs> Leave it out. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are. If you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Oh, I keep catching their yawns. <sighs> Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? Sorry. Love you. <laughs> there we go. So, what do you think about Mor what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all that stuff about stealing desires. And Kamashida's gonna turn, like, brain dead if we mess up, right? I don't think it'll be like that. I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him. But I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's too much. He deserves it. I'm not sure what to... I mean... I I do think it's too much, as to be honest. But, like, I also think we have to do it. Oh, it's so hard. I'm overthinking. Yeah, that's too much. For sure. I mean, maybe I'm just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of the shit. Oh, well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. I'll just save this. I should write something. I really want to like do another day, but I've got really sore throat. What I might do is close it for now and then come back a bit later because I'm really having fun. I just feel a bit drained. I'm tired. Oh, it's probably my fault for talking about triggers <laughs> for ages. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, <sighs> I'm gonna go like lie down for a while, and then I might have some fruit. Lol, <laughs> fun fucking fruit. Um, I uh, love you guys. Are you sure you don't want to do just one more? I mean, I do. My throat's just really sore from talking so fucking well. All right, one more day. Stealing Kamashita's disordered desires. Can we really do it? Go have a wee nap. I mean, uh -uh. I need a wee, actually. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for a wee, and then I'm gonna get some water, and then I'm gonna sit down. Oh, shall I call it a, call it a night of, hang on, what's the time? Oh, it's quite early. To be fair, it's quite early. Yeah, I'll come back. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Mwah.